The Dedalian keys are scattered across the Hogwarts castle, and like many of the collectibles in Hogwarts Legacy, finding all 16 of them can be a bit of a challenge. Well thankfully in this guide I'm going to take you through all of the different locations in one nice easy to follow route that won't even involve any fast travel. So if you're looking to find all of the Dedalian keys as well as picking up the best looking house cloak available in the game, then make sure you follow along. So to kick off this quest you need to go speak to Nelly Ogspire in the Transfiguration Courtyard. When you go speak to her she'll be raving about these Dedalian keys and give you a bit of a backstory as to what they actually are. Then she'll suggest that you go find one that she heard in the Astronomy Tower. The first one is really easy to find as the quest actually tracks it for you. You just follow along with the quest, go into the Astronomy Tower, you'll see the key towards the bottom of the staircase which will then take you to the lock it goes into. The mini game to get the key into the lock is actually really fun but can be a little frustrating the first time you do it to get used to exactly how you meant to get it but once you've slapped that thing in there it will open up and give you a house token. These house tokens are what you'll eventually use to unlock the chest in your common room but first take it back to Nelly, she'll explain this to you, tell you that she's found these chests in the common room where you'll then go, put it in and see that you'll need 16 keys in total to fully unlock the chest. And that is where this Dedalian key journey begins. So to find the next 15 keys, I've created this nice, really easy to follow simple route for you that will take you through all of them. So to start off the route, you're going to head back to the Transfiguration Courtyard to where you spoke to Nelly the first time. From here, go across the yard towards the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower, enter and head up the stairs to the left where you'll see the first Dedalian key next to the Rhino Skeleton. Follow this key up to the floor above, complete the lock and obtain your house token. After this, turn around and head back down the stairs to the Transfiguration Courtyard. You're going to cross it and head towards the North Hall entrance. Follow the route forwards in front of you to get to your next key which will lead you up the stairs to the next token. Once you've got this one, continue all the way down the staircase towards the dungeon's entrance where you actually find the next two keys. The first is right by the dragon statue that will take you back up the stairs you came in and give you the next token. The second is a little bit further down the path past the dragon statue and will take you deeper into the dungeons to get you that next one. Once you've got both of the dragon keys, go back out of the dungeon and up one more flight of stairs and then you'll be heading into the bell tower. Once you go through the door, head straight across there, there's none in the bell tower so go straight through the doors, continue following the path round into the library annex. When you've done this and you come out in front of the greenhouse entrance, you'll find the next key. Then just follow this up and across the central hall and down into the next lock. Once you follow this to the other side of the central hall, turn around and go towards the potions class where the next key will be waiting for you and it will take you down the little staircase to the next house token. Next we're going to be heading to the library so go back on yourself towards the central hall once again. When you get up the staircase take a left, head down into the library. The key will be on your left and take you towards the back of the library. Don't worry you don't need access to the restricted section so just head follow this to the next lock. Then come out of the library and go directly forwards up the central hall staircase where you'll see the next lock. To find the key for this lock though, you're going to have to go up a little bit further and take a right and under that staircase in front of you, it will take you back down to the original lock you had once you found that key. Once you've collected this house token, go back up the stairs and through the door in front of you and this will take you out into the Hogwarts grounds. You're going to go over the bridge and up the staircase to the right, following the right edge of this area to the quad courtyard. When you get into the quad, the key is on the left hand staircase and will guide you then to the next lock and give you your next house token. If you've been following this correctly, this should give you your 10th house token. For the 11th though, we're going back on ourselves a little bit, so go back the way we came in, head towards the courtyard in front of you, where you'll then come across the entrance hall. The next key is in here just up the stairs so grab that, activate it, it will take you back down to the lock you got as you entered the hall. Go back up the stairs through all of the doors in front of you and this will take you into the Great Hall. 
The dedaling key here is located by the fireplace and will wrap around to the lock next to the staircase that you got when you entered. Once you've got this one, we're heading out of the Great Hall to the last easy to access key. This is out to the left as you head towards the Grand Staircase. You'll see the lock on your way, but to get the key you have to head all the way up the staircase as far as it will let you go. This will then activate the key to fly down and back to that lock you passed on your way in. That should then give you house token number 13 out of 16. For the last three keys you need, they're all in the same location. However, you need to have unlocked the Alohomora charm, which is given to you by Mr. Moon's quest for finding the Demiguy statues. All three of these keys can be accessed from starting this quest because they're all in the faculty wing, which he will give you access to when he teaches you Alohomora. My next video on the channel is actually going to be a full guide to finding all of the Demiguy statues, but to just initially start off this quest, you have to have activated chapter 2 of the main story. Once you've started chapter 2, you'll get an owl from Mr. Moon activating this side quest, so you just have to follow along with the start of that quest to enter the faculty wing, which is then where this guide will help you find the next three keys. If you're not sure if you've actually hit chapter 2 yet, you'll know it by a very distinct change in the season cutscene that will happen after a very important main quest. So once you've activated this quest from Mr. Moon, you'll be able to follow the rest of this guide nice and easily once you get access to the faculty wing. If you're doing this during the mission like I did, you will have to do it under the disillusionment charm, but it's not too difficult. If you've already completed that mission, you're going back to find these keys. This area is actually unrestricted, so you can just walk about it free will. The first key is immediately up the stairs on the next floor and will then take you back down to the lower floor, giving you access to house token number 14. The next key can be found a few staircases higher from this room next to the prefect's bathroom and you can find the key to the left of the stairs heading towards the clock tower. If you are doing this during the mission then make sure you distract the prefect in front of you and get the token really quickly because he can spot you during this animation. The last Adalian key and therefore your last token is in the clock tower but it is actually out of bounds during this mission, so quickly finish up the mission and then come back to this area. Once you get to the clock tower, go down the stairs until you get towards the bottom area here, which will then activate the key to head back upstairs, so follow it through and go and get your last token. Now you've got every house token, so go back into the common room, insert them into the chest, and you'll be rewarded with your specific house's relic house uniform cloak. Obviously mine is Ravenclaw, because I am with Ravenclaw house, but it'll be different for every single house that you guys are in. You can then add this as an appearance to any other cloak you want, and honestly, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. To complete the quest, go inform Nelly of your success and what you found in the house chest, and then you're all done. If you found this guide helpful, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video, and if you're looking for even more Hogwarts Legacy content, including how to find all of the Demiguy statues, which is an achievement that only 0.1% of players currently have, then make sure you subscribe and check out one of the videos on screen now.